Nobody knows me. Not really. They only know the me I let them see. They only know the me who puts his family first. They only know the me who loves barbecues, but who loves his wife even more. They only know the me who enthusiastically attends church every Sunday and lives his life according to biblical values. But there's so much they don't know. On the outside, I am a man of God who advocates for godly causes. But on the inside, there is nothing godly about me. When I'm with my family and friends, I am the conservative, God-loving man they all know and love. But as soon as I have a moment alone, the demon within me reveals itself. My mind becomes consumed with what can only be described as a crippling addiction. An addiction that can never be satiated. An addiction that goes against everything I stand for. An addiction that is ruining my life. As my wife and children leave the house, I whip out my phone and call the number I have on speed dial. The man on the other end picks up within only a few seconds. More. I howl in a voice that I myself don't even recognize. I need more. John, are you sure about this? If you keep this up, your career in politics could be ruined, says the man on the other end. This goes against everything you stand for, everything your followers stand for. I know it does. I bark. I know it does, but I don't care. I need more. If you say so, John, says the man. I've got some good stuff coming your way. Thank you, I say to the man before hanging up. I immediately open the email app on my phone and refresh it repeatedly until finally I receive what I want, what I crave, what I need. I open the email. Attached is the very thing I was hoping to see. Links. About a dozen or so of them. Perfect, I whisper. I open the first link. As I read the title of the webpage, I feel my excitement grow. Sexy, transsexual jerks or big shit cock, reads the page, just the kind of thing I was hoping to see. Suddenly, my wife opens the front door. Hi, honey, I forgot my purse, she says. She grabs her red purse from a hook beside the front door. Goodbye, my dear, she says as she exits the house once again. I have no words to say to her. My mind is consumed by girl dick. Five minutes later, as the blood rushes back to my head, as does my sense of reason, I'm being a terrible husband, a terrible conservative, a terrible man of God. I have to give up my addiction, but I say that every time. Deep down, I know that nothing will ever change.